On July 2nd, 2011, DJ Anjali and the Incredible Kid will celebrate nine years of their dance party, Andaz, at Rotere. So that's nine years of Portland's longest running dance party. Uh, give OMN like the one sentence rundown of, of what Andaz is. Uh, well, Andaz means style in Hindi, Urdu. So that was kind of always my concept was to have it be um, not your typical Indian party, but to be kind of our, Anjali and the Kid are your filter for what is good in Bollywood and Bhangra and Desi beats, and we present like our version of the typical Desi party. That was... So if you can think back to nine years ago, can you remember that first night? At Lola's room? At Lola's room, yeah. Okay, here's the flyer. <laughs> <laughs> Nine years ago. Um, the first night, I mean, we were super, super excited. Tons of our friends that have no interest in Indian music came, and that was very sweet. I think they long were... since stopped supporting. <laughs> <laughs> I think they were super proud of us, you know, like, okay, you guys, like, moved up from the bar scene. Um, there were definitely some Indian girls in lingas, like full on skirts, and that was very sweet to see. I mean, there was a crew of Punjabis from Vancouver, BC. The Chima clan came. We. Sorry, not Vancouver, BC. Vancouver, Washington. Right. <laughs> I think we were always into the idea of everybody partying and celebrating together, whether you're Desi, you know, non Desi, Punjabi, white, black, brown, whatever. We were always into the idea of everybody partying together. Um. And basically united by this love of this music. Well, and, and we did a lot of things differently. Indian parties at the time were mostly exclusive scenes, and they always had long dress codes, and we always said no dress code. We weren't going to have anything to do with a dress code. And our party was not about being cool. It was about dancing and having fun. And it was about the music. I mean, we would definitely have, you know, like 50-year-old hippies, like, showing up at 9 p.m. and just, like, getting their their groove on and we were into that we're like okay you were you love this music and we're not going to turn you away you know and we would have i mean really the range as you can imagine of people who were just like oh bhangra bollywood dance party like that sounds cool like i'll go to that and whether you're queer straight brown black like white we are like come and party with us because it's about the music. It's not about where you're from or what stripe of person you are, you know? You guys were at Sasquatch this year, which is a pretty big deal, yeah? It was crazy. It was crazy. It was easily the most people we've ever played for. Um, How many, do you think? Thousands. I mean, I don't even... The I mean, I think the Friday night capacity or <clears throat> our audience was at least a thousand, if not more. Because, I mean, you saw that tent. It was massive. Mm -hmm. And I there mean, were people, like, spilling out outside. That was the first night, and it was obviously a hit. Then what, then what happened? Kept S happening over and over. <laughs> well, like, except that Friday night was Anjali and the Kid for three and a half hours. So we tag team Like, I, we both played for, you know, almost two hours each. But the other three nights, our sets were technically 45 minutes long, but... They Several of the nights they did extend them. Yeah, so. the kids were so receptive and so into it. It was, it was kind of unbelievable. I hope that we have like more experiences like that in the future because it's definitely a highlight. It, yeah, we had no idea what to expect. There was a fair amount of griping online by people that were upset that they'd never heard of us and we were booked to play um, every day of the festival. And so when we showed up and there were hundreds of people waiting to see us like an hour before our set started and then everyone's pressed up against the rails <laughs> and, like, and it was really like, you want to see us? I mean, there was just so much love. We so really didn't know what to expect. Like we've had such love and such a long history of success in Portland, but we just kind of thought that could just be a Portland thing, you know? Um, maybe we wouldn't translate so well outside of Portland. Well, I think in, that's... In Portland, we've mostly had kind of an older club crowd, like mm. late twenties, but mostly thirties, forties, and above. And and this was the first time we had like a twenty to twenty five year old oh, 16, audience. 16, 18. I don't even know, but they were definitely of young kids. kids. Tons of young kids. And we've always kind of been like, oh, that's you know where you go when you're like you you go to the Anjali and the kid party when you have kids and you want to go out once a month. Like, that's kind of what our audience has consisted of for a long time. And we love those people because they don't get to party a lot, so they come party and they party hard. But we were kind of like, yeah, I guess, like, teenagers and, like, early 20-somethings are not really into our sound. And then we got so much love. 
at Sasquatch. It was it was a little over the top, like, and I mean, we heard from some girl from rural Washington who's like, I've never heard anything like what you guys played, and you definitely opened up my worldview of like Middle Eastern and South Asian electronica and that kind of it's stuff really is so special. sweet yeah because you know in the media of course in the news like what do you hear about south asia and the middle east it's like we're at war mm-hmm. there are terrorists there you know or f- religious fanatics like you don't hear about the culture or the music or the art that's produced there not very much so Anjali was shouting out Pakistan uh, every day, and people were like, yeah! We won't really talk about that, but, you know, this this music does come from that region, so we want to recognize that. We don't want people to... We just want... We want to educate as we, you know, while we're partying, so... Okay, so nine years here in Portland, nine years of, of one one dance party every month is really something to be proud of and so i'm gonna ask you guys to toot your own horn a little bit and <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I will say this i will say this um on Daz is not technically the longest running party in portland but what's so unique about on Daz is that we're not playing music that's familiar to most people most of the other long-running nights in Portland subsist on music that people know and are familiar with and well, like and want right, to dance to. Right, and we're not playing retro music. That's the other mm-hmm. Yeah, we're, we're playing mostly brand new stuff and mostly things that people are totally unfamiliar with. So the fact that there's no house night, no techno night, no trance night, no drum and bass night, like there's no other night of contemporary music that's lasted as long as us is really amazing. Um, and I'm, I don't know that I want to credit us. Um, it's just been a... <laughs> A really wonderful thing that's happened that we've been able to facilitate with the people in Portland. Good, cur- well, well, good we're, curators. It's been a wonderful <laughs> we're thing. Curators. We're curators. I mean, we're committed. We're passionate. And I mean, we're dedicated to Portland. We're both from here for the most part. So for me, it's that I want to give back to the city of Portland. Like I want to make something special here. And I want it to be a party where brown people can be you know, where they can feel comfortable and hear their music in addition to non-brown people, like, coming and hearing music that they're excited about. So, I don't know, maybe that's the success of the party, is that it's it's not so pigeonholed, even though we do play music that's mostly, you know, from the Desi diaspora, the South Asian diaspora, but we never wanted to exclude, exclude anyone, so I think that's the success of the party. Well, and also, we don't, we don't just play the same things. Um, people that haven't been in a couple years will be like, I don't even recognize this music anymore. Uh, a lot of the long-running nights in Portland will just sort of play the same songs every week or every month to the same crowd, and they're like, oh, I love this song, I hear it every month. Jukebox. And, and we, you know, it's not that we <laughs> don't repeat things, but things, the party has progressed over the years, and there have been times where maybe a certain sound was big in 2004, and we played a lot of that sound, and we're not playing so much of that sound now. And as people that listen to probably more Bunger and Bali than anyone in Portland, I will say that most of it's awful. It's awful music. Um, I think that's true for most music. I mean, I'm, it's been said, you know, 99% of all music's crap. And that's really true with South Asian music as much as anything else. And so a lot of people might come to our parties, think, I love Bhangra, I love Bollywood, go to the store, buy some comp. This is awful. What is this? And that's because we sift and we sort. And you mentioned curating. Yes, we do curate. There is a lot of stuff out there in the South Asian uh, music world, a lot of very, very popular stuff, and we don't play it. Um, Just because something's a hit, just because something's popular, we're not going to play it. We're very active in terms of being filters and saying, we're going to present the stuff that we think is really good, even if it's really obscure and it's not necessarily a hit. And, you know, by the same token, there are going to be things that might be all the rage, and we're just going to say... No, like that's not that's not going to cut it at our party. We're not feeling it. So that very active role that we've played, and not just saying, "Oh, these are the hits," and so we're going to play, you know, the hits, but actually saying we're presenting our view of this music and what we like. And so it's it's a very unique slice. It's not necessarily the same slice you're going to get if you go to any other party playing Indian music. I think that that's the uh, legacy that you guys will leave behind. Con- <laughs> congratulations on nine years. Yeah. <laughs> 